What I'd recommend doing is the people that do carry, we give them a bonus. We give them a little bit of a bonus. They're, frankly, they'd feel more comfortable having the gun anyway. But you give them a little bit of a bonus. So practically for free, you have now made the school into a hardened target. For instance, if the coaches, who I guarantee had plenty of experience with weapons, if they had guns, you need a hard because no matter what you do to keep them gun-free, they'll be able to get in there and they'll crawl through the back of a window or something. And you're going to have everybody again without any protection. So I know where you stand on it. You want a hardened school. And I want a hardened school, too. I want to know that if they get in there, they're, going to, they're not going to be long, because it's going to take 10 minutes for the police to get there. The police do an incredible job in getting there. I guess it averages about eight minutes. But the shootings average three minutes, and that's tremendous destruction and death. So I would like to see uh, true people with great talent at guns and being adept at guns, of which there's only a percentage of people. But whatever that percentage may be, it's a substantial number. Because you can't hire enough security guards. You can't hire. I mean, the school, your school is an example, Christine. You would have You'd need 100, 150 security guards. That is a very big school with a tremendous floor area. You can't have that many. Who wants that many security guards standing all over the place, loaded up with guns? But you could have concealed on the teachers. They wouldn't know the, the people. Nobody would know who they are. And it is a tremendous threat. And by the way, instead of advertising, this school has no guns, we are gun-free, you let the people know the opposite. Nobody's going to attack that school, believe me, because they're cowards. They don't want to be shot at, and they're going to be shot at.